A key signing for Tommy Woodrington during the summer was Ian Simpember, who Tommy made team captain on arrival. Um, it was something I always had in my mind. I've seen him be a leader at other teams, and he's that vocal leader. We caught up with Ian during a recent training session to find out more about him and how he's finding life down at the borough. Ian, welcome to the Borough YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have you been settling in here since you signed on and took over the captaincy? Yeah, no, I've really enjoyed it. The, uh, the lads are great. Uh, a lot of young lads, they keep me on my toes, but I've, I have I've really enjoyed it. It made me feel welcome. Tell us a bit about your career. I understand it included both league and non-league clubs. Yeah, I was very, very lucky. Um, I left school, I went up to Aston Villa for a year and then um, moved on to Wickham Wanderers under John Gregory. Um, he was only there a couple of months and he went the other way, back to Villa. And then um, most of my time was with Laurie Sanchez there and I had a fantastic time. Um, played a few first team games and then Tony Adams came in and he took a bit of a shine into me and um, started me in a few games and but um, no, very, very lucky. So you've, you've certainly had a bit of, uh, bit of experience at that level. Mm. What, what do you find are the major differences between league and non-league football? Um, I wouldn't say... I wouldn't say quality, especially when you talk about the Conference National League Two. The quality isn't necessarily that much different. The um, I think the, the lads' mindsets in the Football League are, are, are the biggest difference. They're more, um, as, as lads personally, generally you only have to tell a lad in the, in the professional game to do something once and he remembers to do it every single time after that, you know. Um, and as you drop down, you have to tell the lads more and more. And as soon as they take that on board and the penny drops with them, I think a lot of lads from this level could go up. That, that sounds good. And uh, some of your teammates as well, I'm sure. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Good future. Absolutely. So what drew you to sign on for the borough? Well, I met, um, met Tommy in the summer and um, had a chat with him. And uh, he really, really impressed me. Um, I knew a few of the lads who were down here. Um, and... Um, no, like, like I said, when, when I met Tommy, it was, um, I had a couple of offers on the table, but it was a no-brainer, really. That, that's great stuff. Mm. So, what's your favourite position out of all the positions, and uh, how would you actually characterise your game? Um, now, it's changed a lot since my career. Um, I've moved further and further back, but now I enjoy reading the game. And like I said, I love playing with young lads, because especially the lads here who, who, who tend to listen to what the gaffer's saying, listen to what Hart is saying, you know, they, they take on board that these lads with a little bit more experience are only trying to help them. And you can um, move them around a bit, you know, teach them a few tricks. And um, no, it's good. I really enjoy that part of the game. So, so it seems like you're in a bunch of, of players who, who want to learn. Absolutely. And want to improve. I tell you, it, there's, people talk about, you know, quality, talk about fitness, but there's a, there's, some, there's a lot to be said for hunger. You get that with young players. You know, you might have your, um, your teams, there's a few teams in this league who've got a lot of lads who are sort of my age and a lot of experience, and that's all well and good, but when you get a core of lads who are hungry to do well, it's brilliant, fantastic. And you feel that's the word that typifies the, the, the current squad? Absolutely, absolutely, yep. Yeah. That, that's, that, that's really good, because there's going to be ups and downs um, after... A great start to the season, there's been a couple of setbacks over the last couple of games. As captain, how do you go about keeping the players remaining positive? I, I, do you know it's not a difficult job here, just, just from the characters that we have. The lads are jovial, they're buzzing, training's good, it's a big part of it, and the gaffer puts on you know, exactly what we need, and the boys are bouncing around and that helps you. you know, to keep, I've played under managers, if you get, you get turned over in a game, and you're out running around poles and this, that and the other, but no, it, training's a big part of it, and um, the lads are buzzing, and it's, it's good, you know, it's a great atmosphere. That's, that, that's really, really great stuff, so it's a really good binding spirit for everyone. Absolutely, and like you said, over nine months, that's exactly what you need. You obviously think about things, I mean, in terms of your captaincy, what, what, what are the main things you try to achieve? Um, just to any lads who feel that they need to, um, they need a, you know, a little bit of an ear or a shoulder to have a wind on or whatever. You, you've got to be there for them. Um, if they, if they have any, um, if they want any advice about anything, you've got to be there to them for them. You know, and, and, and obviously on the pitch, 
they'll look to, to somebody who's a little bit older, been in a few more situations in games, just to help them through, really, that's, that's all. Yeah, so it's, it's quite a responsibility you have. I really enjoy it, really yeah. enjoy it. Especially, like I said, there's a lot of lads here who take, take things on board on the pitch, and then when you go out and you see in the next game, they've learned from what they did before, and, they, you know, and, and it's brilliant watching lads progress like that. Well, that's, that, that's great. So I know the fans will, will be really pleased to, to, to hear about that. I mean, just as we sort of like uh, wind up, I, I just wonder, I know you've only played uh, a few league matches so far this season, but what, what game stands out for you so far and why is that? Um, I think probably the first 20 minutes of the other night at East Lee might surprise a lot of people, but um, their squad is probably the best in the league. Um, 20 minutes they didn't get near us on the ball um, I think we you know everything was fantastic the boys look sharp they look confident and you're playing against some great players who will be there or thereabouts at the end of the year um, they possibly just had a tiny little bit more experience than us that helped them over the line but even talking to a lot of their lads who I know quite well after the game they said we were the best they've played so far um, and you know they were really impressed and I think that as our lads play more and more games together, they'll grow and grow, and they'll learn how to grind, grind out results at places like that. Well, that's, that, that's terrific to hear that. And um, I know it's early days, but I'm sure the season's got a good, good positive feel to it. And uh, we wish you all the best over the coming season's games, and uh, good luck with the captaincy. Cheers. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. Cheers. Ian. Cheers.